Glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope that you all are well in the Lord. So guys, as you can hear, it is pouring down raining here in South Carolina. Um, I can't get out of my car just yet. And so I decided to go ahead and record this video. People of God, the time has arrived where I have to issue another warning. Another warning. I believe that this is going to be warning number six. Um, for those of you who have been following the ministry for a while, you'll know that I did a video way back when where it talked about how God was going to use me to issue a series of warnings and revelation and notices to the body of Christ. So people of God, this warning is applicable to those who have ears to hear, okay, and eyes to see. Um, it's for anybody that watch, watches this video and you're not in that place where you need to be with God, okay? Um, and also, those of us that are in the body, we're going to feel it too. We're going to see it. We're going to witness it. Um, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to have us in places of all, you know, because we are in those end times. We're, we're approaching the time where Jesus Christ is coming to pick up his body, okay? And so this warning came by number um as i mentioned in the past guys when the lord gives me numbers this is speaking for myself i can't speak for anybody else when he gives me numbers i know that he is prompting me to research scripture okay so the number that the lord gave me this time around uh was 911 now 911 is not a number that i don't typically see i see 911 a lot but this particular time when God showed me 911, it came with a vision of our president, Mr. Donald Trump. Okay, and so that's what caught my attention about it because it was attached, it was associated with Donald Trump, our president um, in the United States. Okay, if you're in the United States, then yeah, Donald Trump is your president. Okay, and so when I saw that, I knew that the Lord was getting ready to take me on this journey where he wanted me to search scripture and he was trying to speak to me in a way that I would understand it and I could receive it and deliver it to ev to whomever he wanted me to speak to, basically. So I did that. I, I started off um, looking at 911 chapters and just different chapters in the Bible that I thought that the 911 would represent. But during my initial research, I wasn't, nothing was resonating in my spirit. I was reading the word, but it, nothing was resonating. And so typically when I can't understand something or if I feel like God is just silent in that moment, then I'll just leave it. And that's what I did. And so as I went about my time, um, the 911 came again and then the vision of Donald Trump came again. And I said, well, Lord, you know, I've already tried to look the scriptures and nothing is resonating in my spirit. And he says, well, because you're looking at in the wrong place and I literally heard Holy Spirit say 911th chapter, 911th chapter. That's what I heard. And so I began to research and, and, and try to find out which chapter in the book of the Bible in the Bible would lead me to what book. And so when I did my research, I found second Haggai. Second Haggai was the book that the Lord led me to as being the 911th chapter now i can't say that this is 100 percent, but this is where god led me this is my search in the 9 11 he led me to second haggai okay and so when i got to that book i heard him say i want you to read it i want you to read my word and i will show you what it is that i want you to speak to the people about so i began to read um second haggai and i was reading it and reading it and reading it and as i got to verse number six that's when I started getting a little antsy. I started moving this way and that way. I was I, I started feeling a sense of sensation of the Holy Spirit kind of rising up in me as I was reading verse 6. And then when I got to verse 7, I almost started shouting. Because what I was reading is what the Lord had given me in the video that I just recently recorded called the shaking. How God is shaking things up. And so it was... It was a, a, a portion of what the Lord was showing me during the time that he was leading me to record that video. It was confirmation 
in the shaking it's, it was confirmation in the shaking that God was was is, is, is bringing okay and so I said oh my Lord and the first thing that I asked God I said Lord are you telling me that the shaking video that you had me record the other day is part of this warning? He said, yes. So you could go ahead and tell the people to watch that video because what was said in that video was true. It is the heart of the father. It will come. It will happen. And he's saying that this warning is going to confirm some of those things that I mentioned in that video. Number two, he said that this warning is bringing more depth. To the shaking in other words the shaking video gave us bits and pieces but this warning is giving us a whole picture he's given it's given us a more in-depth picture of what the shaking consists of so i need to read these verses to you because this is the warning this is thus say of the lord okay this is him saying it himself okay and it says in haggai chapter 2 verse 6 and 7 it says for thus says the lord of hosts once more in a little while i am going to shake the heavens and the earth the sea also and the dry land i will shake all of the nations and they will come with the wealth of all nations and i will fill this house with glory says the lord of hosts and so when i read that i got a little nervous because when i read that that says to me that jesus is coming back to get us you know, shaking the heavens and the earth, you know, the ultimate earthquake, the ultimate time where the entire world is going to shake when Jesus comes back to get his bride. And I said, Lord, is that what's going to happen? And he said, no, no one knows the hour of the day. He said, that's that is that will happen. He said, beloved, that will come. That will come. Everybody knows that. Most people know that. And for those who don't, they will know. But what I'm saying to you to tell my children is that the shaking, the shaking of the nations, hallelujah, has started. I need you to issue the warning to the body as well as those people who have ears to hear make the announcement that the that that that, that the season of the shaking has began. The season of the nations of shaking has began. I am shaking up the nation, says God. And the Lord said to me, he said, the reason why I showed you Donald Trump is because the shaking is going to begin in the United States. Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah. I showed you Donald Trump to give you an understanding. He represents your nation. And so because you live in the United States, I need it for you to be able to administer this warning to the people that are in the United States. Tell my people that I'm getting ready to shake the nation. I'm shaking the nation. It is no longer local. It's no longer in surrounding areas. It's no longer in counties and cities and states. But now I need for you to understand that I am shaking the nation. I am shaking the nations. And so my word comes forth. God is saying that it's no more that people are going to be able to do what they want to do. That's what this is about. Because I said, well, God, what is this about? He says, well, you know, this is the time and the season for this to happen we're, we're getting closer to the end of time it's in the word of god the prophecies are coming to pass but i'm using you to let the people know when the times will arrive so that they will be ready so that they will be prepared for what is to come people of god the lord is saying that he's getting ready to shake up this nation He's getting ready to shake up the United States and he wants us to be ready. The purpose of him doing this is because Israel, meaning the body of Christ, not just the unsaved, but the body of Christ. He's shaking the place up because a lot of us have turned away from him. A lot of us are not living the life that we are portraying to people that we're living as Christians. And God is saying that he's no longer going to allow for things to be up under. He's going to bring exposure to those of us that are not living right. God is saying that he's going to shake the nation up so much so that we are going to have to make a decision as to what we're going to do. It's gotten to a point now that as he shakes things up, the, the shaking is going to cause for people to have to make a decision. Are you going to live for him or are you not going to live for him? God is saying the purpose of this is to get people to wake up 
because we're sleeping. And this includes the body of Christ. God is trying to wake the body of Christ up. God is saying that the things that we're going to see are going to be devastating. The things that we're going to see are going to hurt. The things that we're going to see are not going to be so good. But the reason why he has to allow the nation to be shaken is because we're not listening to him any other way. We're not paying attention to him any other way. And so now other measures have to be taken for us to wake up. And so he's decided that he's going to allow for this nation to be shaken. And during the shaking process, many of us are going to go through different things. Okay. We're going to go through different circumstances. We're, we're going to see certain things. We're going to witness certain things. And sometimes those things are going to draw us to prayer. Sometimes those things are going to draw us into interceding for others. Some of those things are going to draw us closer to God. Some of those things are going to uh, uh, have us shift the way we do things. Some of these things are going to bring people to Christ. It, it, it just depends on who you are and where you are. But God is saying that the shaking of the nation will take place. Hallelujah. And so this is a warning. This is a warning. God is trying to get us prepared for what's to come, people of God. So, so this word, again, is not to scare you. God is not intending to scare, but God wants us to know how serious this is, how serious the times are. He wants us to pay attention to the times. We don't have a whole lot of time. He's trying to get us prepared so we're not caught off guard. He wants us to come to him so he can take care of us. He loves us so much. That's why he's using me and other servants of the Lord to issue the periods and the seasons and the times that we need to be aware of so that we're ready for what's to come, people of God. So if you're a person that's living for God and you love God and you're following his decrees and his commands and you're obeying him, well, this is not for you. This is for those people who have turned away from God or you're living a half-hearted life or you're living a lukewarm lifestyle or perhaps maybe you don't know God yet. Well, God is calling you back to the throne, people of God, okay? This is of serious nature because the things that are getting ready to come if we're not in Christ, if we're not in God, we're not going to be able to survive it. We're not. We're not going to be able to get through anything without God, with the coming times, with the coming days. OK, and so God is issuing the warning because there is a severe, significant importance that we get it right with God because he's getting ready to shake this nation. He's getting ready to shake the nations. Thus saith the Lord. Second Haggai verses six through seven. The Lord has spoken and that's what the warning is for today, guys. OK. All right. So take heed to that word. All right. I love you guys. Remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus holy name. I love you guys and I want you to be blessed. Stay in the Lord. Stay as close as you possibly can to the Lord and, and allow for God to cover you. And so that way, all these things that are coming are happening to us. But what does that mean? It means that we're protected. Right. We are protected, okay? So take heed, all right? Share this video with somebody that you think needs to hear it, okay? Love you guys. Bye.